Hi everyone, this is Murray Elaine and um, we are, it's 11.22 here in Perth and so I thought I would do a quick message for this little community of mine on this powerful master number 11 day, the 11th of the 11th um, universal month, 11.22, all these lovely ones and twos. Um, the universe really has something special in store for you, I'm sure. I don't know what it is yet. Let's see what's coming from these. Oh, let's try it this way. These angel messenger, ask an angel cards. So um, I'm not that familiar with them. It's a, it's not a new deck. I've had it for a while, but I don't use them very often. So I've gone for something completely different today. Let's trust the intuition. And then I'm also going to call on another deck that I haven't used um, very much at all. It is I Am Vibrational Cards by Deborah Anderson. So let's see what the universe would like us to know today. Um, so that we can get some clarity and awareness and then move forward and let's embrace the um, the incoming year 2018 um, being very strong and standing standing firm in our personal power I don't know where that came from and something I'll be doing I'll be uploading here comes one, something very soon oh completion that's nice um, is that as you know I've mentioned this before I've been creating all of these bracelets and I'm going to be doing a messenger service at plus a unique bracelet for whoever would like one I've got some frankincense on these because they're like lava beads and oh it's just beautiful it smells lovely so oh and this card was staring up at me so here we go the first card in our message is completion so I think that you I believe that we are actually entering into a time where we can actually close the door on some sort of um, event. But I'm thinking it's more personal and it's an emotional event. And I think that, you know, we have been gifted the opportunity of awareness and clarity so that we can finally release and let go, which is, you know, what we're here to do. Because here's the next card that was staring back at me, communication. So I believe that the angels are really calling upon upon you to actually reach out and get their assistance. They are there. They're standing behind us. They're, they're everywhere. And because, I've said this many times before, because of the free will that we were gifted, they are unable to intervene unless we put out a call and ask for help. And from my own personal experience, I have actually been calling upon this technique Especially at night time when I'm laying in bed and I can't drift off to sleep because my mind just won't shut down for whatever reason. And I just, I know it sounds a little bit simplistic, but I call upon the angels and say, can you please take these thoughts away? And the next minute I'll wake up. That's how fast it's happening. So, you know, really. Now that was just to illustrate an example of how it works. But if you've got some sort of... Um, situation that's going on in your world right now, whatever that may be. Just call upon and ask for their guidance, but also remember your personal power that you you have all of the the skills and the um, the techniques that are required to create the world that you want. But it comes down to understanding that you are this powerful, powerful vibrational being, and it comes starts from here and here. These two need to be connected. Your heart and your thoughts need to be in alignment with what you truly want to put out there to the universe and you will manifest it. So let's see the next card. What have we got here? Prosperity. This is a beautiful card. You know, because we live in this material world. Well, let me say, material realm. Um, you know, and a lot of um, our lifestyle choices, especially in the Western society, is determined by how many dollars that we have in our bank account or what we can generate in order to fund a lifestyle and so um, often our prosperity is defined by you know finances that gives us choices um, so we can have whatever we want again it comes down to you know aligning our beliefs and a lot of from my own personal experience again I can only speak from my my perspective um, it comes down to you know beliefs that you have developed over time about your worthiness and whether you can actually if you feel that you're not entitled what you have learned to believe over time that's what i was looking for sorry i was stumbling on my words there for a moment and there's a little bit of a distraction going on behind me which you can't see um 
worthiness, beliefs, it all is tied to prosperity. And so therefore, you know, it's an opportunity right now to, to say to yourself, I am worthy of anything that I truly desire. I am powerful. I can create whatever I desire. I align my, my thoughts and my heart. Little mantras to really kickstart you and get you on your way. And here's the final card. It's just hidden worlds. Oh, so we are starting to um, to see beyond what we currently can see. That's what I feel at the moment. So I think we've got an opportunity now to, to really open up our eyes, all eyes, including our third eye. As you can see from this image here, there's a beautiful, you know, third eye happening um, because Jupiter, Scorpio, clarity, it's all coming, the hidden um, is being seen, there's a lot of things that are coming up out of the blue, well probably not out of the blue but we thought they were, giving us an opportunity to really put into motion what we want, that's what came to me. Okay, so now let's see what this vibrational card has got in store for us and this could be a little mantra for the week um, if it connects with you so what have we got here oh <laughs> I am shifting in vibrational honesty and sensitivity so you become aware become aware of your sensitivity um, just take note of your thoughts and your emotions and at that point in time ask yourself do I want to invite that into my world if it's a yes, keep on putting those thoughts out there. If it's a no, then have the awareness to shift it. Be honest with yourself. Be aware. And let's see what we can manifest in the coming week. Okay, so thank you very much. I really enjoy my messenger service. Um, as you can see on the tarot page, if I'm around and I have got the, um, the time, I will just send quick little messages in one form or another. Another, I did one earlier today, and I'll probably come back um, over the weekend and do some more, because I like to be the messenger. No other reason. Okay, everybody, thank you very much, and I'll see you again next week. Bye.